Due to the COVID-19 Hello nurses! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, welcome po sa mga bagong subscribe sa aking YouTube channel and thank you po sa inyong pag-subscribe. Then, sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel, just click the button below for subscription and click the bell button for more video updates. So, our topic for today is all about your scabies. So, pag-usapan po natin itong si scabies kasi lumalabas din po ito sa ating actual board exam. So, what is scabies? So, scabies is an infestation of the skin by the human each mite kung tawagin ay Sarcoptes scabivar huminis. So, take note, pag sinabi po natin scabies, the causative agent of your scabies is the each mite which is a parasite. So, tanda po natin, ang scabies ay parasite. Hindi po siya fungal, hindi po siya virus, at hindi po siya bacterial disease. So, it is a form of a parasitic infection. So, pag sinabi po natin causative organism of your scabies, the causative organism here is the itch mite which is known as the Sarcoptes scabivar hominis. The microscopic scabies mite burrows into the upper layer of the skin where it lives and lays its eggs. So, ibig po sabihin niyan, makikita po natin yung ating parasite na yan sa ating upper layer of the skin kung tawagin natin is the dermis corium. Okay? Dermis corium kung saan natin makikita yung ating parasitic Agent. So, the most common symptoms of scabies are the intense itching and a pimple-like skin rash. So, makikita mo dyan, meron siyang pimple-like skin rash and that is the most common sign of your scabies. Okay? Then, kapag tinanong naman yung ating incubation period, the incubation period of your scabies is 4 to 8 weeks. Some other sources sabi dyan 4 to 6 weeks pero up to 4 to 8 weeks ang kanyang incubation period according to your CDC. Sabi sa ating CDC, if a person has never had scabies before, the symptoms may take 4 to 8 weeks to develop. Okay? But for a person who has had scabies before, the symptoms is usually appearing such sooner. So, 1 to 4 days after exposure, nandiyan na yung mga sintomas ng scabies. Ulitin ko, kapag yung tao daw ay never siya nagkaroon ng scabies before, the symptoms may take to 4 to 8 weeks to develop. But if the person has had scabies before, the symptoms usually appear much sooner, 1 to 4 days after exposure. So, pag first time mong magkaroon ng scabies, ang sintomas ng scabies magpapakita po yan, 4 to 8 weeks. Okay? Pero kapag ikaw ay nagkaroon na ng scabies before, yung sintomas niya pwedeng mag-appear 1 to 4 days after your exposure. Then next, what is the mode of transmission of your scabies? Okay, so take note, the mode of transmission of your scabies primarily is contact. Okay, so contact transmission po tayo dito. So it's either direct contact or indirect contact. So take note, nurses, that scabies is usually spread by direct contact by prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact with a person who has scabies. Again, contact generally must be prolonged. So, a quick handshake or hug usually will not spread scabies. So, take note also that scabies is spread easily to sexual partners and household members. So, scabies in adults frequently is sexually acquired. So, pag sa adult or young adults, pwede pong makuha yung scabies via your sexually intercourse or sexual relationship. Okay? So, scabies sometimes is spread also by indirect contact. So, paano po ba yung indirect contact natin? So, indirect contact transmission of your scabies is by sharing articles such as your clothing, towels, or beddings and linens. So, used by an infested person. Pero kapag yung mga kitchen utensils natin, mga kutsara, tinidor, hindi po nakakahawang scabies doon kasi hindi naman po siya droplets. Okay? So, take note that scabies is a contact transmission disease. Again, so ibig sabihin po ng contact, pwede po siyang direct contact and pwede po siyang indirect contact. So, if you say uh, direct contact, that is by means of your holding hands, your body-body uh, contact, and your sexual intercourse or sexual contact. So, another form is your indirect contact by means of your fomites like your uh, furniture. So, okay, ano pa? Yung ating paggamit ng ating same bed linens, we have your towels and paghihiram ng damit or your uh, clothing. So, okay, so yun yung mga ways natin para ma-transmit yung ating human itch mite na nagkukos ng ating scabies. Okay, then next we have your key facts about your scabies. So, an estimated 200 million people worldwide suffer from scabies at any one time. So, up to 10% of children in resource-poor areas are affected by scabies. 
And in 2017, scabies was included now as one of the neglected tropical disease by the WHO. Along with your uh, filariasis, with your cystosomiasis, so included na rin daw yung ating scabies as a neglected tropical disease by the World Health Organization. So, scabies occurs worldwide but it is most common in hot and tropical countries and in areas of high population density, okay? Then next, what are the signs and symptoms of your scabies? So we have here our mnemonics, we have your scabies mnemonics. For letter S, that is your severe itching or pruritus. So nagkakaroon po siya ng severe itchiness. So the most common signs and symptoms of scabies are the intense itching or pruritus, which is especially occurring at night, and a pimple-like popular itchy rash. Okay? So take note that the most earliest sign of your scabies is the pruritus or severe itchiness that is the earliest sign of your of your uh, scabies it is your pruritus and the presence of your pimple like or popular itchy rash kung tawagin natin that is the scabies rash okay again so lumalabas po sa board exam the most earliest sign of your scabies is the presence of your pruritus or severe itchiness and your pimple like itchy rash then for your letter C, letter C is the presence of crusting and scaling. But this crusting and scaling in your HIV AIDS patient ay hindi po makate. So without H po yan. So immunosuppressed individuals including people living with HIV or AIDS may develop an uncommon manifestation called crusted or yung tatawag natin na Norwegian scabies. So, yung crusted Norwegian scabies, yan po yung malalang klase ng scabies. So, dalawa po kasi yung ating scabies. We have your non-crusted and your crusted scabies. So, pag crusted scabies, that is known as the Norwegian scabies. Norwegian scabies, that is crusted po yan. So, take note that crusted scabies is a hyper infestation with thousands to millions of mites producing widespread scales and crust often without significant Itching. So, this condition has a high mortality if untreated due to secondary sepsis. Then next, we have also your letter A. So, your scabies appears as burrows or fine grayish red lines in the skin. So, the scabies mites burrow into the top layer of the epidermis or yung tatawag natin na mite tunneling. So, gumagawa po sila dyan ng parang tunnel where the adult female lays eggs. Okay? So, the eggs hatch in 3 to 4 days. So, na napipisa po yung itlog nila 3 to 4 days and develop into an adult mites in 1 to 2 weeks. So, after 4 to 6 weeks, the patient develops an allergy reaction to the presence of mite proteins and the feces in the scabies burrows okay so it causes your intense itch and rashes so take note that most individuals are infected with 10 to 15 mites lang okay so pag tanoyin kayo sa board exam kung ilang mites yung makikita sa isang infected individual that is 10 to 15 mites okay so 10 to 15 mites ang kadalasan na makikita natin sa infected individual with scabies then next we have also letter B the blister like in soles of feet and pimple like in trunks so blister like in soles of feet are common in your infant and very young children but usually not adults and older children kasi pag adult ka na or ikaw ay nasa older age ka na so yung ating mga boros ay common na makikita mo between the fingers in the skin folds of the wrist the elbow or knee and also with the genitalia of the infected person then next for letter I, it is your itchiness that persists up to 2 weeks after treatment. So take note kahit na na-initiate na natin yung treatment for scabies, itchiness may persist up to 2 weeks after the initiation of your treatment. And also letter E, we have your exfoliating crust in the face in crusted type of scabies. And for letter S, we have your source secondary to infection. So, nagkakaroon po siya dito ng mga sugat-sugat kasi kapag ito'y nangangat, eh, kinakamot po ng ating pasyente, that causes a new portal of entry of your microorganism. So, kailangan nating i-trim yung kanilang fingernails para hindi po sila magkaroon ng sugat kapag sila ay nangamot. And iwasan po niya mangamot at mag-suit po siya ng gloves dito. Then next, so how long can scabies mites live? So, take note that scabies lives in the stratum corium of the skin and on a person, the scabies mites can live for as long as 1 to 2 months. Pero off in a person, kapag wala na po siya sa katawan ng tao, the scabies mites usually do not survive more than 48 to 72 hours. So, hindi po nabubuhay yung ating mites ng uh, lagpas ng 3 days. So, 48 to 72 hours lamang po ang kanyang itinatagal kapag wala na po siya sa katawan ng tao. Kunwari, kapag nasa bed linens na siya, sa clothings na siya, so 48 to 72 hours na lang ang itatagal niya sa labas ng katawan ng tao. So, take note also that scabies mites will die if exposed to a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit 
for 10 minutes. Okay? So next, we have also your risk factors of having the disease. So number one risk factor here is the overcrowded living conditions. Okay? So poor crowding index, ano pa, sa mga prisons. So pwede po doon magkaroon ng scabies doon. Magkalat yung ating scabies. Ano pa, poor hygiene is also a risk factor. Daycare or institutional settings and immuno suppression. So again, si scabies ay common sa mga bata, sa matanda, at saka sa ating mga immunosuppressed individuals. Then next, kapag tanoy naman kayo about the diagnostic test for scabies, we have here your mineral oil borrow scraping, the punch biopsy or screen scraping as the definitive test, then the borrow ink test, and kapag walang borrow ink test, we have also your tetracycline and adhesive tape test. So pag pinaka-confirmatory definitive test dyan, that is the punch biopsy or the skin scraping. And then kapag tanungin naman kayo about your priority nursing diagnosis for a patient with scabies, we have here your acute pain and discomfort. We have your risk for impaired skin integrity because of your edema, the risk of infection, and we have your risk for situational low self-esteem and disturbed sleep pattern related to itchiness and pain of Lesions. So again, our priority nursing diagnosis for a patient with scabies are the following, the acute pain and discomfort, risk for impaired skin integrity, and the risk for infection related to tissue damage, the risk for situational low self-esteem, and disturbed sleep pattern related to itchiness and pain of lesions. Then next, so tanong din sa board exam is if a home health nurse visit a client with suspected scabies, she must wear gloves and gown. Tandaan niyo po yan. So, kailangan kapag bibisita ka po sa case na taong may scabies, kailangan mo nakasot ng gloves and gowns. That is by a CDC protocol po yan. So, the CDC recommends wearing gloves and gowns for close contacts with patient with scabies. Scabies is transmitted kasi from client to client by direct skin contact. So, all contacts that the client has had should be treated at the same time. So, lahat po sila, mga household members, kailangan din silang gamutin sabay-sabay. Hindi lang po yung pasyente may scabies, pati na rin po yung mga kasamahan niya sa kanilang bahay. So, take note that always observe contact precautions. So, contact precautions require the use of gloves and gown so if direct client contact is anticipated and take note goggles are not necessary unless it is anticipated that splashes of blood and body fluids or secretions or excretions may occur also with your show protectors hindi po yan necessary so pag tanongin ka sa board exam kung anong isusot mo nurse kapag ikaw ay bibisita sa pasyente may scabies you must wear your gloves and your gown okay so hindi lang gloves dapat gloves and gown then next, let's talk about your treatment for your scabies. So take note, meron po tayong gamot dito pero hindi po siya over the counter. So we have your uh, scabicide drug known as the Permethrin 5% Cream. Okay? So your Permethrin is the first line treatment for scabies. So take note that the cream should be applied on every area of the body and left overnight. So hindi mo po siya huhugasan after mo siyang may apply. So it is left overnight. So apply the lotion to cool dry skin at least 30 minutes after bath. Thing, okay? So, kailangan ng 30 minutes after mong maligo, doon mo i-apply yung ating, yung ating cream or lotion. So, the application of your cream should be from head to soles of the feet. Okay? So, kahit na ang meron lang lesions is sa iyong kamay or sa iyong katawan lang, kailangan mo pa rin lagyan yung, yung part ng ulo mo hanggang sa paa. It should be cephalocaudal. So, head to soles of the feet yung application natin ng ating cream dito. Not just the areas that have the rashes or the lesions. So, hindi lang sa ibabaw ng mga lesions ang lalagyan natin ng cream, kundi buong katawan natin lalagyan ng cream. So, from the head to the soles of the feet. Okay? So, take note that the lotion should be kept on for 8 to 14 hours and then the child should be given a bath. Okay? So, kailan tumagal yung cream sa katawan niya or sa skin niya for 8 to 14 hours bago ulit siya maligo. Okay? So, take note, overnight po yan na nakalef sa skin niya after application. Then next, what are the contraindications in the use of your permethrin or quell? Okay, so the contraindication here is children younger than 2 years old. Why? Because they are uh, they have a more permeable skin and high systemic absorption may occur. So placing the children at risk for central nervous system toxicity and seizure. So take note itong si uh, permethrin ay neurotoxic sa mga bata less than 2 years old. So lindane is also used but it is in a uh, caution to be given in children between the ages of 2 and 10 years old. So, tandaan po natin yan. 
Then next for our priority nursing interventions, we have your Galis Mnemonics. So, G for your gloves and gown in the care of clients. So, kailangan natin mag-wear ng gloves and gown kapag tayo mag-aalaga ng pasyenteng may scabies kasi take note, scabies is a contact precaution disease. The next letter A, avoid prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contacts. So, iwasan po natin yung ating prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contacts. So, pag sa holding hands, 10 to 15 minutes yung required na time frame para masabi natin na pwede na makahawa sa holding hands yung scabies. So, less than 10 minutes, hindi po yun possible na makahawa ka ng scabies. Unless kapag crusted type po yung scabies natin, yung may mga ano, may mga crust or scaling. The next, we have also your decontamination of your linens, towels, and beddings. So, para i-decontaminate natin ito, pwede natin siyang ilagay or isilid sa plastic bags. Okay? So, plastic bags, ilagay mo siya for 72 hours or 3 days. Okay? Then, after mong may ilagay sa plastic bag for 3 days, kasi sabi natin, tumatagal lang yung buhay ng ating mites for 3 days outside the body of a person. So, after mong may ilagay sa bag or sa plastic bag, pwede mo na siyang uh, uh, i-hot washing machine or uh, pakuluan yung, uh, yung ating mga bedding sa, ano, sa mainit na tubig. Okay? So, yun yun. So, pwede po yun. Or buhusan na mainit na tubig kasi namamatay din po sila sa high temperature. And take note, letter I, isolate the child or the person with scabies up to 24 hours after treatment is initiated. So, pag bata po yan, hanggat wala pang 24 hours mula nung in-initiate mong treatment niya, wag mo muna siyang papapasukin sa school. Okay? And letter S, simultaneously treat all household members. Okay? Simultaneously treat all household members. So, hindi lang yung pasyente yung ating uh, gagamutin, pati na rin yung mga kasama niya sa kanilang bahay. Again, so take note, mga key pointers natin para sa board exam, we have your scabies is not a virus, it is not a fungal, it is not a bacterial disease, it is a parasitic disease. Parasite po ang ating scabies. Then next, we have also your uh, home visit for a patient with scabies, wear your gloves and wear your gown. Okay? So, yun po ang ating tatandaan. Then next, sa application naman ng cream, your cream should be applied all over the body and not just over the lesion. And take note that the earliest sign of your scabies is the presence of your pruritus and your pimple-like popular itchy rash. Okay?